The internet has affected all of our lives. How we date, how we shop, how we travel, how we eat, and of course the internet has affected visual art. This exhibition looks at the impact of the internet on visual production, how artists think, how they see, and of course, how they produce. The exhibition is called Art in the Age of the Internet, 1989 to Today. The show has over 60 artists, collaboratives, and collectives, and has work in every medium, painting, sculpture, video, photography, web-based projects, virtual reality, and even performance. The internet has been around since the 1960s. However, in 1989, the World Wide Web was invented. With the invention of the World Wide Web, web-based browsers like Mosaic and Netscape were introduced. And these were browsers that anybody could use, and the internet became a truly democratic medium. This exhibition is organized around five thematic sections. They are networks and circulation, hybrid bodies, virtual worlds, states of surveillance, and performing the self. We have work in all mediums by artists of all generations responding to that theme. For example, in Networks and Circulation, we have a great video piece by Camille Enro titled Gross Fatigue, which is all about how we live our lives today with open windows and open screens, and it's about the fatigue of the circulation of images and information. A video piece by the collective How Do You Say Yam in African is all about the role of activism on the internet. In Hybrid Bodies, we have a video piece by Ed Atkins, which uses a digital avatar for the artists. And in States of Surveillance, Rafael Lozano Hemmer has a video piece with a large eyeball that tracks the viewer through the gallery. In Performing the Self, we have two interrelated works. One, a self-portrait by the artist and performer Juliana Huxtable, and a sculpture of her by the sculptor Frank Benson. Both of those works look at the fluidity of gender identity today, online, and in our real lives. When one exits the show in the Founders Gallery, there's a virtual reality piece by Canadian artist John Rathman that is site-specific to the ICA and to the architecture of the ICA. Art in the Age of the Internet is an exhibition I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's not a show of screens, it's not a show of technology, it's a show about technology and how technology has affected our lives, our relationships, politics, how we understand ourselves, how we understand the truth.